It is explained. It's not just like random, like, where do they go? What is it about this party that's so cool? Um, well, it's Young Hollywood. It's all in the name. Because a lot of times you go to parties and it's like a bunch of people that you don't know that are so much older than you. And I'm like standing really awkwardly in the corner. And everyone's like partying and I'm just like, okay, where are my friends? So all of my friends are like here tonight and we all, I guess, fall into that Young Hollywood category. So it's cool that I get to like have fun partying with my friends. So. High school, I get a big like high school dance. It's a big gathering because like everyone here. It's like a big high school reunion. Someone in Young Hollywood at one of these that you haven't worked with that you'd love to do something with? Oh gosh, I don't know. I have to think about that. Who's like... There's all kinds of people here. Like, who's, in, who's, who's on this list at the party? Well, um, long list. Everybody. Young Hollywood is a long list. Let me look around. You know someone I see over there is actually Aria Winter, but I did work with her. Funny story, her and I did a commercial together like when we were nine years old. You can look it up online. Is it online? Yeah, it'd be cool to work with her like on something real, like a like a show or something. But technical commercial for her. It was it was for Charter Communications. She's really sweet, so it'd be cool to work with her again. Yeah. A little modern family. I know that'd be cool. Or like she comes to Lab Rats or something, you never know. Speaking of Lab Rats, it's now a whole completely new show. Yeah. Like, how exciting is that to get to match these two worlds up? Because we saw the crossover, yeah. so it was a little taste. Well, and the crossover did really well, and it got really great feedback. Like, everybody loved it. So I was like, it only makes sense to make a full-on show out of it, and I get to work with my best friend, Paris. And I love Bradley, love Jake, and Billy and I are just really excited to kind of start this whole new, like, journey with the Mighty Med Kids. And it's really cool. I've, like, heard some stories about where it's all like gonna go like what path it's gonna go down and stuff and it just sounds super cool and bionic heroes and superheroes combined is only gonna be amazing the question is which is better though superpowers or bionic powers? it's not a question bionic powers because superpowers like yeah they're just like this unnatural thing that kind of happens but bionic powers there is science behind it You're destined to have that they give actually them. happen exactly I want it. I want it. <laughs> you said it could happen, so now I'm like, Maybe in real life. You never know. Just kidding. I'm by a lab somewhere. There is a lab somewhere with three kids who just want to get out in the real world. I Somewhere out there. Somewhere. So we know that not everybody from Lab Rats is coming to the new show. Are, is that going to be explained? Do we, do we know why? That it is, actually. Um, Spencer and TJ, I don't want to give away what happens because you yes you find out in the very last episode of lab rats but it is explained it's not just like random like where do they go how shows work and it's not like no 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 it's like it's not like sad or anything it's actually it's realistic too so i think it it's going to be believable to the audience as well what are you doing on your time off working on anything new besides that or? um well i got back from australia i was filming a movie there Gymnastics movie? Uh, yep, gymnastics movie. That was like throughout my whole summer. So that took up like lots and lots of time. And ever since I got back, I've just sort of been chilling out because I'm going to start working again. So I'm like, I just need time to relax and like do nothing sometimes during. You didn't come back with an ex? Can you well, do probably not because I'm absolutely horrible at an Australian accent. I think the Australians there maybe got a little bit of an American accent. I rubbed off on you. Like, oh my god, like, so California. I'm Valley girl. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm gonna come back and be like, you didn't talk like that when I first met you. <laughs> up my words. Uh -oh. Yeah. Any message for your fans out there? Um, yeah, I could go on and on, but I could keep it simple <laughs> and just say that they're great and I really hope they like the new show. I'm excited. I don't even know what's in store really, but they should be excited because all I know is that it's going to be like action-packed and super exciting and their two favorite worlds are coming together. It's going to be epic. going to be epic. <laughs> not going to tease except to say watch it when it comes out, gosh darn it, people. This is a big moment. She's been like kind of miserable by herself, but it's like, I like that it's a season of like her like doing things for herself.